New York City is a fascinating place. It has some of the most interesting people in the world. It also has some of the most interesting cultural places in the world. We come together in New York as different people, but we're all the same. We have different colors, different religions, different ethnicities, but we all seem to come together. There's something very special about New York, and there are some very special stories in New York. We are commanded by God to treat people the way we want to be treated. There is a mitzvah, a good deed. You shall love your fellow as yourself. That is in Leviticus 19.18. Many people consider New York to be one of the most interesting, exciting cities in the world. West 57th Street in New York is called Billionaire's Row. One day, when I was on 57th Street, I saw a homeless man that I'm friends with. He stands outside Morton Williams, the supermarket, every night, and we became friends talking about baseball and politics and the Bible. One day when I was speaking to my friend, a woman approached me and she asked me if I could speak with her. She explained to me that her mother had just passed away and she lived in Vancouver, Canada. And she came to New York to recharge her battery. She asked me if she could give me $20 to give to charity. I explained to her that she could give it to the charity herself. She insisted that I take the money and find some charity or person to give it to. Again, I insisted to her that she could do it. She saw me speaking to this homeless man and I guessed that she was touched by it and she wanted me to give charity on her mother's behalf for her mother's soul. Eventually, I gave in because she was so insistent. So I took the $20, she thanked me, I didn't even know her name, and she left. I held on to that $20 for one year. I had to make that $20 count. One day it hit me. The man that I was speaking to is not a drug addict, is not an alcoholic, is not a gambler. He's just a man that doesn't have enough money for a deposit and for rent and to put his life back together. I said, I will give him the $20 because I left him to speak to her. The way God works is this. Two hours later, I bumped into him on a completely different street. I gave him the $20. He thanked me. I was with somebody else, so I could not explain to him the story which had, had transpired. I told him the next time I see him, I will explain to him the story. Three weeks later, I bumped into him and I told him the story, what had happened. I asked him if he remembered the woman. He vaguely remembered her. He then told me, let me tell you what happened, that his cane broke and he is almost crippled and he can't walk. And that $20 bought him a new cane so he could walk. So that woman who gave me $20 for her mother's soul, her mother's soul was blessed with helping a homeless man walk the woman who gave me the $20 will never know that the $20 that she gave me helped a man who was crippled walk in honor of her mother's soul. Some things in life we can't make up and some lessons in life we need to experience. One day when walking on 57th Street and 1st Avenue, I saw a woman. She was blind in the middle of the summertime wearing a winter coat. She was trying to cross the street there was construction in the gutter, so I approached her and helped her. She informed me that she was going to the bus stop, so I took her to the bus stop. She was the only person there. I asked her why is she wearing her winter coat. She told me that she cannot hold her walking stick and her coat simultaneously. I felt so bad for her. I waited with her for the bus. She would never know when the bus is coming. Unless you had a good bus driver who was paying attention, who would realize what was happening, the buses would keep going by. I waited with her until the bus came. I got with her on the bus because she was so hot, I wanted to make sure she was okay. We got off on 57th Street and Madison Avenue. She knew where she was going from that point and she had cooled off on the bus. I said to myself, wow, look how hard her life is. Six months later, I was meeting a friend of mine downtown by Wall Street. It was a bitter cold day. I was gonna meet him in front of Staples. As I was walking there, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was the same woman, except this time it was the winter time. And again, she was by herself waiting for the bus. 
I approached her. I asked her if she remembered me, but she didn't. But then again, I assured her that I would wait with her for the bus. The bus came. I told the bus driver that she was going to the last stop. The story was not over. I had a lot to think about. I realized that everybody has problems. No, rich people are not billionaires. Rich people are those that have eyes that could see. These two true stories transpired on 57th Street in Manhattan. The root of the word mitzvah means attachment or connection. Most people think it means good deed. It also has that meaning. But if you want to connect to God, do a mitzvah.